I just got back from a Disney cruise. And to my surprise, I learned something about marketing during the cruise. It's something that you can use in your dental practice to increase patient case acceptance. I'll be back after the break to tell you more. Disney is the world's biggest entertainment company. They are the de facto best of the best. And I recently found out for good reason. I'm Colin Receiver and welcome to the Patient Attraction Podcast. My wife and our two young children, three and one, recently took a Disney cruise. And while we were at dinner one night, I asked for a wine list. You know, we had the kids in daycare and we were out for a, a nice dinner on the ship. And I said, hey, let's have a bottle of wine. So when they brought me the wine list, I was a little surprised when I opened it up to find the cheapest bottle was $240. And I looked through the list and skimmed the list and, and I just looked at the waiter and said, I, I'm not looking for a $250 bottle of wine. But our server didn't bat an eyelash when I said it. Now what he did say is in his other hand, already there and prepared, he pulls out this little, this vault, this box. And he says, let me show you our vault collection. And this, this little vault unfolds and it, it opens up. And on each piece of this vault that, that pans open, there's a little silver uh, plaque with the name of each bottle of wine and, and the year and the price tag, of course, underneath that. And I was thoroughly impressed with the presentation, uh, kind of wondered why the vault was the second choice to the standard wine list. And I was still a little surprised to find the cheapest bottle in the vault was still $150 a bottle. But, you know, the presentation was amazing. So what did we do? They had downsold us. We ordered a bottle. Once we tried the wine, of course, you pay $150. Bucks. Every $150 bottle of wine you have uh, is amazing. Now, I'm sure they would have downsold me again if I declined even the vault. I'm sure he had something else in his back pocket. But here's what I learned from this experience. Disney downsells until the customer is comfortable. Now, they might not get $240 a bottle. They might still get $150. That's not bad at all. They probably only pay 30 bucks for that bottle of wine altogether. Now, usually when you're out there in the open market, salespeople are trying to upsell you by offering you something more expensive after you've already purchased. But when you're the best of the best like Disney, you don't upsell, you downsell into comfort. You make your customers feel good about it because you've already sold them on the value and Disney has absolutely mastered it. I mean, I paid 150 bucks for one bottle of wine and the wine was great, the experience was great, but was it really worth what I paid? Probably not. I can get online and probably get that exact same bottle for 30, 40 bucks. By itself, not necessarily, but it was part of the entire cruise experience. Disney sold me and they sold me hard on their value and I paid more than I might have otherwise. Make your case presentation part of the patient experience and then you can downsell them into where they're comfortable at. Tune in to tomorrow's podcast on why a long tail is a good thing. Keep moving forward. Whoa.